It's so easy, isn't it? To play. To really play. Even against myself. It's impulse. Automatic. Natural. I found so much of life as finding those things. Those easy things, playing games, watching TV, teaching my writing class for the umpteenth time. Those are what keep the clock moving. 99% of life is just a clock moving. It's the 1%, the part where you sit down and really do something, really dig in to the core of things. That's where I get lost. That's what kills me. I was up and coming once. My magnum opus, a six-line poem I titled My Complete Self in Six Short Lines, was published in the Eastern Nevada Quarterly Review, Fall 1987. One notable scholar even called it a shockingly intimate personal expression. Another said he wished it was longer because it was so good. I was sure I had made it. But then I became deathly ill, ill with writer's block. For 33 years, I've struggled with the disease. Some days I can't even pick up a pen. Today that changes, because I'm quitting poetry and trying screenplays. I think it'll be much easier. Fade in. Well, that's a start. What next? Are they interior or are they exterior? <sighs> it's about a writer. Oh, well, that's good. But isn't every story about a writer, technically? Anyone who writes anything is inherently writing about themselves. I mean, that's the first thing I teach my students. But maybe... Maybe they're writing it to escape themselves. Does anyone even really know why they write anything? I guess money. Money's probably the biggest reason people make things. So I need a protagonist that can make me money. So he's, uh... He's handsome. Classically handsome. But not so handsome that everything is handed to him. Not like a model or anything, just handsome. Tragic background. Extremely poor and he's, uh... Terminally ill. And his parents died. They were killed in a plane crash. And it rains a lot. And he doesn't even have an umbrella. No, that's been done to death. And too downer. Okay, um, he, uh, he has a healthy suburban background. Upper middle class. He's, he's well liked and, and an athlete. Golf, no, tennis. Golf and tennis. He has it all, but he doesn't know how to appreciate it. No. It's too boring. Okay. By night, he's also a hard-hitting detective. Now he's too young for that. Okay, he's secretly uh, a magician. No, a wizard. An upper-class wizard who plays golf. No, that's too unrealistic. He's just a regular guy who doesn't know what he wants because he's an American. But not too American. Too American is cliche. So his mom is actually very French. And he grew up here, but he, he's proud to be French. He's fluent and an intellectual and a grown man living at home. And he's unemployed and an erotic cynic in a perpetual identity crisis. And he thinks maybe, just maybe, he might be an artist. No! People detest those types. Too brainy. People are dumb. People are dumb. They like dumb people. They identify with them. So he's actually always cheerful and thinks the whole world is so beautiful and brings people joy wherever he goes and doesn't ask too many questions about anything. There's no conflict. No, he's, he's, he seems happy, but really, he's misunderstood by everyone. He's secretly miserable inside, but not like in an annoying, self-pitying way. He's, he's just nothing. Look, man, what is your thing? And be honest. You can be open with me. Can I sit down first? Please. Can I get a coffee or water? No. We're talking business. You're not thirsty. Fine. So who are you? 
What, what's your story? What, what do you want? What's your thing? Well, let's see. Um, I'm half French, and I'm really cheerful. Other elements are less clear. I might have writer's block, but not as all-consuming as yours. I'm still reasonably normal. Oh, great. So you don't like me either? Either. You might want to think that through. What do you really want? That's all I need to know. I just want everyone to like me, that's all. If everyone likes me, then that's about good enough for movies these days. 80% of that's just my face. I have to have a face that people like. That's kind of the secret trick to filmmaking. I can't write your face. Yeah, it's tough. If I don't have the right face, you never know. It might bomb. I just want to be liked so damn bad. I want everyone to like me, no matter what. And if that doesn't happen, then I don't know what I'm doing. I would have no reason to exist. Okay, no one is going to like you if all you do is whine about how much you want everyone to like you. Right. Schrodinger's cat. Is that Schrodinger's cat? I'm not sure about that. You're right, it's not. I'm an idiot. No one likes me. Sometimes I impersonate being smart to impress people. But really, I know nothing. It's because I'm French. No, it's because you need... You need a story. You need conflict. You need background. You need to change. That's the key. I need to change. So you're saying I'm not good enough. I knew it. You didn't like me either. No one does. No, no, no. You change, but in a reasonable way. You do a bad thing. They like you in spite of the bad thing. But I hate people who do bad things. You're right. I gave you too much of a moral compass. They see you do bad things, we're done for. <sighs> if only there was some way, some direct way, to establish my identity. I am a narrator. I am an omniscient God perspective. La 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 la. No one questions me. No. You need to start with something that shows how smart you are. It needs to sound profound. The green seas grow ever more invisible. Entrancing us in the gentle bow. Day after day, night after night, we have forgotten we are looking for the shore. What are you doing, idiot? That's a perfectly good sentence. Awkward syntax. Poetic cliché. General pretension. I don't even know what it means, let alone have a story for it. So, something comes out of you naturally and you delete it, then you complain about writer's block. What do you know? I'm omniscient. Supposedly. You may be unreliable. I haven't decided yet. You haven't? <laughs> you can't. You never can. That's your whole character. You don't know that. You don't know me. I contain multitudes. I'm a real person. A complicated person with complex interests and desires and parts of myself that I don't understand. Parts of myself that I may never understand. No matter how hard I try. You? You're just a voice. I know you. I know everything about you. I know your joys and fears and anxieties, that weird dream you always have about your neighbor's wife. I know your life. I've learned the big lesson. Yeah. So what's the lesson? Maybe start with not deleting the sentences you write, obviously. Jesus Christ, it's like talking to a fucking brick wall sometimes. Maybe a mirror. A distorted mirror. It's a better metaphor. Ah, fuck you. Stop fucking editing. Put it on the page. You're just saying that so you can keep existing. You're just a projection. A mean-spirited projection. Yeah, well, what are you?
It's so easy, isn't it? 